ओके टुडे विल स्टार्ट रैंडम सिग्नल थियोरी सो इन दिस रैंडम सिग्नल थियोरी वी हैव टू डिस्कस अबाउट द रैंडम वेरिएबल रैंडम वेरिएबल देन रैंडम प्रोसेस सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग विथ द रैंडम वेरिएबल ऑल ऑफ यू नो अबाउट वॉट इज प्रोबेबिलिटी so this probability term we have to define so for defining this probability term we have to know what do you mean by random experiment random experiment what do you mean by सैंपल स्पेस देन वॉट इज इवेंट सो एस इन द प्रीवियस क्लास आई एवल डिस्कस इफ वी टॉस ए कॉन टॉसिंग ए कॉन द सैंपल स्पेस is denoted as s capital s so capital s equal to tossing a coin means only i'll get the sample points are head and tail yes or no so how will define the sample space what is event then how will find the probability so event means the outcome of an experiment is known as event then sample space means the collection of all possible outcomes since we are tossing a coin so possibility is what either head or tail so sample space contain only two sample point one is head and tail so these are the event so how will define first term is random experiment if it is a random experiment you don't know the exact possible outcomes that means the probability of uncertainty you have to find out the probability of uncertainty uncertainty okay the probability of uncertainty you have to find out the probability of uncertainty you have to find out so what do you mean by event first how will define the event anyone who can say what is the definition of event how will find out the sample first so before that what is the event event means what the possible outcomes of an experiment is known as event you can write the possible desired outcomes of an experiment is called an event okay suppose i will take an event is e suppose event is e so this e represents only head only head so what is the probability of getting only head here is only head here is or you can write probability of getting head like this in this experiment is 1 by 2 because the number of sample space here is 
sample point because the number of sample point in the sample space is 2 that's why only getting head is 1 by 2 so how will define that random experiment if we will get the unpredictable outcomes open experiment is known as what random experiment so random experiments will define you can write random experiment means random experiment means means we will get unpredictable 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 outcome open experiments then what do you mean by sample space how s the collection of all possible outcomes of an experiment is known as sample space you can write the sample space sample space is defined as the collection of all possible all possible outcomes all possible outcomes so random experiment over sample space over event over okay now how will define the probability torque so since it is a ratio between two in numerator part the number of favorable cases to an event and the total number of sample points in the sample space so we can write the probability definition probability is defined as or probability of an event is defined as the probability of an event is defined as is defined as the ratio between ratio between the favorable number of faces the favorable number of faces the favorable number of faces to an event to an event and the total number of outcomes of an experiment total number of outcomes of an experiment total number of outcomes of an experiment so this definition also over now we have to define what is the maximum probability of a sample space the probability of the sample space sample space means the total number of sample points or outcomes will present in the experiment so this sample space probability is one sample space probability is one that means probability of sure thing sure event is one suppose the probability of an event i can write this will be lies between 0 to 1 okay so maximum value of the probability will be 1 less than 1 this is the probability of an event clear everyone now in probability cases we have to think three condition that two events are dependent independent and mutually exclusive suppose this is a sample space all of you know about this concept this is what sample space this is sample space suppose this is an event this is an another event but sample space is same sample space is this one this is a this is b event a event and b event then this condition is known as the dependent event dependent event
dependent event. So, A and B both are known as what? Dependent event. So, one term in probability is the dependent cases. Second case is second case is suppose this is a sample space same sample space, but this is an event A this is another event B another event B. So, this condition is known as within same sample space this is known as what mutually exclusive events mutually exclusive events clear everyone mutually exclusive event. Now, other condition is suppose this is one sample space and the event is A here and this is another sample space and the event is B here. So, these are the different sample space, but both A event occurs in this sample space also. So, same event occur in different sample space, same event occur in different sample space, then these two are known as independent event, independent events. So, clear everyone, independent, independent event, eh? these both are known as independent events clear everyone. So, how will define the mutually exclusive events clear everyone diagram completed. So, mutually exclusive event means what the occurrence of an event does not depend on the occurrence of the other event within the same sample space within the same sample space. So, all of you write the definition of mutually exclusive event, definition of mutually exclusive event, definition of mutually exclusive event. So, write the occurrence of an event, the occurrence of an event does not depends does not depends on the occurrence of other event on the occurrence of other event in the sample space in the sample space. Then write the definition of independent event, the independent event the independent events are those events in which the occurrence of one event does not depend the occurrence of other event in different sample space. Okay. So, now in these two event all the terms we have to define in the dependent events what you can write look this is event A this is event B. So, this middle part is known as what A intersection B. So, I can write that A union B equal to or probability of A union B equal to I can write probability of A plus probability of B minus probability of A intersection B in this case. 
yes or no because this is a t band which include this intersection part and this is another event this is also include this intersection part so the common part i have to subtract because that common part is two times so a union b means from here to here from here to here okay now in this mutually exclusive cases mutually exclusive cases suppose i have to find out the probability of a union b probability of a union b what will be the probability of a union b because this plus this i have to add that's why the probability of a plus probability of b because intersection part is not here so mutual exclusive means this is the condition okay now suppose other cases the probability of empty set or the probability of phi is what empty set means nothing is present that's the probability of phi set is zero or empty space empty space is zero suppose in this condition i have to find out what will be the probability of a intersection b in this part zero but if i find out probability of a plus b probability of a plus probability of b same thing okay suppose a probability of a plus b plus c so you can write probability of a plus probability of b plus probability of c yes or no suppose one event is union of i can write union of i equal to 1 to suppose n equal to i equal to 1 to n suppose n okay what is the meaning of this one this equal to you can write summation of what i equal to 1 to n of e i the meaning is this one suppose i have to write a 1 union e 2 union e 3 yes or no union of i equal to 1 2 3 like this of this one equal to i can write u 1 probability of you can write probability of probability of this one probability of this one probability of an union equal to this probability equal to i can write probability of e 1 plus probability of e 2 plus probability of e 3 in which cases this will be in this will be in mutually exclusive cases this will be in mutually exclusive cases. So, probability of an union of the events e 1 up to n equal to probability of summation, probability of individual summation, probability of what? Individual summation that you have to write p of e 1, e 2, e 3 like this you have to write all these things. Similarly, inter intersection part also you can write yes or no intersection part how will find out intersection part. So, much intersection of a 1 and a 2 how will find out when that will be independent cases independent event cases if they are independent how will find out look here in this case what will the independent event cases how will find out the intersection part probability of intersection of i equal to 1 to suppose n of e i of what e i. 
So this equal to you have to find out what product. Product of i equal to one to this pi symbol is product symbol. I to n probability of u i. Okay, this is in which cases intersection cases. But in this case, what you write? Look here, you change this one. Probability of this one equal to you can write summation of individual probability sum. So you can write summation of p of e i. P of what? P of e i. Look here. Probability of e i means i equal to one to n means probability of e one. Put i equal to one, two, three. So here you have to put p. That means in this case you can write. That probability of like that union of i equal to one to n e i equal to you can write summation of i equal to one to n then probability of what e i so union cases summation and intersection cases product so these are clear about dependent and independent and mutually exclusive cases. Clear everyone? Now, about probability distribution function. Probability distribution function. So, anyone who can say what is the probability density function? PDF. PDF means probability density function. Notation is capital F, random variable capital X or small x equal to you can write as in the previous class we have discussed this equal to what I can write probability of capital X less than equal to X. This is what probability distribution function. Now this probability distribution function also known as CDF, CDF means Cumulative, cumulative distribution function. So both are same. CDF and PDF are same. Now, how we'll draw the PDF? So PDF is always represented graphically. The probability distribution function is always we have to represent in graphical representation. Okay. Suppose we have to take one experiment rolling of a dice. So, rolling of a dice experiment we have to do. So, in this case, what is the sample space? The sample space will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, these are the sample points in this sample space. Yes or no? So, to these sample points we have to assign a random variable. The random variable is capital X. Capital X is random variable. Okay? So, this random variable we have to assign Suppose 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. Now, what is the probability of getting 1 in this sample space? So, the probability here you can write 1 by 6. Probability of getting only 2, that also 1 by 6. Then, probability of getting only 3, 1 by 6 because total number of sample points here will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6.
0. This value will be 0. Suppose you want to write in this presentation, in this presentation, so capital F of 1.2, 1 1.2, 1 that means the probability of capital X less than equal to 1.2, because in this notation, yes or no? So, in this experiment, what is the probability of getting less than 1.2? Only one sample point is present that is 1. So, I can write this is 1 by 6. Suppose, I have to find out the probability less than equal to 5. So, 5 that means probability of x less than equal to 5 equal to what I can write? 5 1, 2, 3, 4 up to 5. So, 5 by 6. Yes or no? So, any value you can find out. Now, the thing is we have to represent graphical. The probability distribution function always represent graphical. You write that one. The probability distribution function always represents, always represented graphically, always represented graphically. Now, you have to sketch the CDF curve or the probability distribution curve. Any doubt up to this? So, anyone who can represent graphically, this is small x, small x value will be suppose 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, ok. So, the probability of getting only 1, the probability of getting only 1 is what? 1 by 6. So, 1 by 6 suppose this is the probability of getting 1 by 6. So, when 1, so that is only 1 by 6, 1 by 6. So, this is suppose 2 by 6, this is 3 by 6, then this is 4 by 6, 5 by 6, then this is 6 by 6, maximum value will be what? 1. Yes or no? So, Bhavana, what is the probability? So, what is the probability? Getting less than 2. Suppose in this 1.5, what is the probability? What is the probability? 1 by 6, because less than 2, less than 2 is present only what? Only 1 is present. That is why the probability from 1 and 2 is this is 1 by 6. Sit down. Okay. Now, what is the probability of getting less than 3? What is the probability of getting less than 3? 2 by 6. Very good. 2 by 6. Sit down. Next. So, what is the probability of getting less than 4? Less than 4. Less than 4 is 1, 2, 3. So, this is 3 by 6. 3 by 6. Yes or no? Sit down. Next, Swandana. What is the probability of getting less than 5? Less than 5 is 1, 2, 3, 4. So, I can write this is what? 4 by 6. 4 by 6. Then what is the probability, Prasanto? What is the probability of getting less than 6? Less than 6. Less than 6. Less than 6 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, that will be 5 by 6. So, up to this, this will be what? 5 by 6. Again, equal to 6. Less than equal to 6. What is the probability? 6. Clear everyone? So, CDF graphical representation or the PDF probability distribution function, the corp is this one. Any doubt? 
clear everyone so this is the pdf probability distribution function graphical representation graphical representation clear everyone next is from this we have to define what do we mean probability density function so probability density function is small f probability right probability density function so how we define this probability density function the probability density function you can write small f of x the small f of x but capital f of x is what probability distribution function or cumulative distribution function so this small f of x i can write the definition of this is the derivative of the probability distribution what probability distribution function okay probability you can use this is also small letter no problem so derivative of this if we will do then we will get the probability density function so probability density function will give the exact probability of getting one the exact probability of getting two the exact probability of getting three so a different random variable particular points what is the probability it will gives so it indicates the total probability distribution to that what different random variable so we write the definition of probability density function the probability density function is defined as is defined as is defined as the distribution of total probability the distribution of total probability the distribution of total probability probability to to various random variables to various random variable so you can write the probability density function indicates the distribution of total probability to various random variables now you will clear suppose i have to find out from this this is capital what capital x that means this is pdf probability distribution function or this is also known as cumulative distribution function so from this graphical representation i have to put the derivative of this one after that i have to find out what the probability density function this probability density function i will find out look here the probability density is a very very important term suppose zero is this one this is x is x axis and in y is small f of x axis how will find out this one so it will give the probability distribution to the individual random variables suppose the random variable value assign is 1 what is the probability what is the probability of getting only 1 1 by 6 so this is 1 by 6 so i can write this is 1 by 6 again see here suppose from here to here here to here the probability of getting here is from here to here is 1 by 6 so if it is a step signal now i have to do the derivative of a step signal is always a impulse signal the derivative of step signal is a impulse signal so we got the probability of getting only 1 is 1 by 6 the probability of getting 2 is again what getting 2 only is again 1 by 6 so this is the step now now the derivative is what only 1 by 6 so that also probability getting 1 is 1 by 6 again 3 1 by 6 again 4 1 by 6 5 1 by 
1 by 6, 6, 1 by 6. So, you got the difference between the probability density function, this is small p d f and capital p d f, probability distribution function and probability density function. Clear everyone? Any doubt? Only we have to do what? Derivative of the probability distribution function. Now, some properties you have to identify, right? Properties of probability density function. The properties of properties of probability density function, right? Properties of probability density function. So, probability density function is what? Small f of x or capital F of x? Small f of x. So, first property is very very important property, you have to find out what is the total area under a probability density function. How will find out the area? We have to integrate. So, minus infinity into infinity small f of x dot d x equal to what? 1, equal to 1. This is the probability density area property. How will define? The total area under the probability density function is 1. You can write the total area under probability density function is 1. Okay. Suppose, for example, graphically how will you represent? Look here, suppose it is a uniform probability density function, uniform probability density function. So, uniform means what? Uniform means what? Suppose this is a function x axis f of x. Okay. Now, I have to define the function in the x axis from suppose this is a point, this is b point. Okay. This is a probability density function. So, anyone who can say what will be this height? What will be this value? The area under the probability density function is 1. So, this is a suppose rectangle. So, area will be this into this. Yes or no? So, first you have to find out what is the value from here to here. That value is from here to origin to this point is b, from origin to this point is a. So, I can find out a b minus a. If this will be b minus a, so what will be the height? 1 by b minus a, because the total area cover a probability density function is 1. So, area equal to b minus a into 1 by b minus a. So, this this cancel equal to 1. Okay. Yes or no? Now, suppose I have to find out what is the probability of capital X less than equal to x 1. Anyone who can say, how will find out the probability of this one? Who can say? That means, you can choose also the capital F of small x 1, you can give like this. What is this value? How will find out the probability of capital X less than equal to 1? or the probability distribution function of x 1. I will find out, look this is less than equal to this one. So, I have to find out the area. So, maximum value is what? x 1. So, I have to integrate from minus infinity to x 1 f of x d x. Clear everyone? Because it is given the random variable is less than equal to x 1. So, upper limit of the integration will be what? x 1 upper limit of the integration will be x 1 and less value will be up to minus infinity. So, like this you can find out the probability of <coughs> what this term. Then third suppose probability of capital X greater than x 1. Anyone who can say greater than x 1, how will find out? Okay. 
okay what is this value x1 greater than equal to this one that means lower value is x1 this equal to we can write total probability to 1 so i can write 1 minus f of x1 1 minus f of x1 so in this case what you have to write the lower value is x1 this is infinity f of x dx up to this clear everyone when there is a capital x random variable greater than x1 means small x1 will be the lower limit here less than equal to means small x1 will be the upper limit so up to this clear everyone so prop, suppose the probability is lies between x1 to x2 probability lies between the next property suppose probability of x1 less than equal to this value is lies between x2 this one that means the lower limit is x1 upper limit is x2 f of x dx yes or no so this property you got okay now how will define the uniform probability density function that means within this specified range the probability density function is constant so you can write uniform probability density function is defined as the uniform probability density function is defined as defined as the probability density the probability density function is constant is constant is constant is constant over a specified over a specified range over a specified range clear everyone now what you have to do we have to solve some problem now suppose one problem is given this is the previous year semester questions so how will solve this one a continuous right a continuous a continuous random variable random variable is distributed is uniformly distributed uniformly distributed over a range from 0 to 10 0 to 10 so first question is you have to sketch the what probability density function first bit is sketch the probability density function sketch the probability density function clear everyone hmm? you can draw or not second bit is what is the probability of x less than equal to suppose 3 this you have to find out so determine this one determine this one this one and third another part suppose i have to find out what is the probability of capital s greater than 9 then fourth part okay what is the probability of life between 4 to 8 probability of 4 less than capital x less than equal to 8 so these things you have to find out so you can solve Jagriti, how will solve first point? Stand up. How will solve the first bit? So answer. Hmm. Suppose so you have to sketch the probability density. Density function. Uh, a graph will be plotted from uh, zero to ten. Zero to 10. Okay. So first bit is we have to that is given that the range is given zero to 
this is uniformly probability density function uniformly probability density function means what over this specified range that function is constant so in this range the function is constant from here to here the function is constant and again in case of probability density function the area over this probability density function is what one so how the area will be one from here to here the length is what 10 so this must be what 1 by 10 so this value will be 1 by 10 1 by 10 yes or no so that it satisfy the area property area equal to 1 by 10 into 10 equal to 1 so it satisfy first property yes or no so this is what the sketch of the probability density function sit down second bit second bit how will find out second bit the probability of second bit is what probability of random variable x less than 3 so less than 3 means the higher value will be 3 higher value will be 3 so i can write since this function is from 0 to positive value of x this is this is you write small f of x versus small x so in this case the higher value is what 3 so in the limit part you have to put 3 upper limit is 3 the lower limit is what minus infinity but here from 0 so 0 to 3 into f of x dx now in this probability density function from 0 to 3 what is the f of x value what is the f of x value 1 by 10 clear everyone so i can write, write 0 to 3 1 by 10 into dx so 1 by 10 dx integration is x 0 to 3 equal to what I got 3 by 10 equal to 0.3 everyone clear yes or no Spandana. next similarly sit down similarly 3 question number bit 3 so the 3 who will solve 3 who will solve 3 you can solve ok what is the answer probability of capital S greater than 9 yes or no so this means I can write the lower value is 9 up to up to 10 signal exists so I can write 9 to 10 and from 9 to 10 what is the f of x value 1 by clear or not look here the lower value is 9 so I have to put 9 here then since the function is exist up to 10 so that will be 10 now 1 by 10 into dx so I got 1 by 10 the dx integration is x that 9 to 10 so what you got 1 by 10 into 10 minus 9 equal to 1 so you got 1 by 10 equal to what 0 0.1 point 1 so clear everyone up to this the next part is the question over 4 bit question over 4 bit so you have to answer this question number 4 bit what is the answer question number 4 bit what is the question capital p of or probability of 4 get less than capital x less than equal to 8 how will find out ok the lower limit is 4 upper is upper is
into 8 minus 4 equal to 4 by 10 equal to 0 0.4. Clear everyone? Any doubt? So, one previous semester question is this one, sit down. So, you can solve also the previous semester question. So, what is the previous semester question? Anyone? You can see the previous semester question and ask the question. Any doubt? Up to this, any doubt? Up to this, any doubt? So, probability density function, probability distribution function, small f of x is the probability density function, capital F of x is the probability distribution function or cumulative distribution function. Then properties, first is the area properties f of x d x equal to 1. So, all these four properties you have to remember. Then the next part is the statistical ok or statistical averages you have to find out the mean, median and variances, mean, median variances ok. So, how will find out the mean of a probability density function? So, how will find out the mean? Mean is also known as average, this is also known as expected value, as expected value. So, how will find out the mean or average value? of a probability density function. That means, what is given? f of x is given. The probability density function f of x, this is probability density function is given, density function is given or you have to plot is given. Then how will find out the mean? The mean you can write the mean equal to capital X bar or expectation value of X or M 1 equal to how will find out? You have to find out minus infinity to infinity X small f of X d X ok. So, this is the mean f of X is given you have to multiply with small x then we have to take integration from minus infinity to infinity. Okay. Now, second is this is what? This is mean part. Now, second is mean square value, mean square, mean square value. How will find? Anyone who can say how will denote that mean square value? Mean square means first we have to put RMS root mean square like. So, first square then mean, mean square so, square we have to sum then I have to find out the mean. So, mean square value notation is this one or you can write expectation of square of the random variable this you can write or you can write m 2 m 2. So, how you can find out the mean square value only in place of x you have to put what x square. So, you have to put this one minus infinity to infinity x square f of x dx any doubt in the mean square value part and what mean part. What is given? Probability density function is given. Clear everyone? Now, statistical averages means you have to find out mean, mean square value. Next is what? Next is variance. How will find out the variance? The variance equal to how will find the variance? What do you mean by variance? What do you mean by variance? How will find out the variance part? How will find out the variance? The variance I have already told in the Gaussian probability density function the variance is sigma square. The notation is what? The sigma square where sigma is standard deviation and various notation is sigma square. So, how will find out this one? This if you got m 2, m 2 means what? Mean square value, m 1 is what? Mean or average or expected value, then m 2 minus m 1 square you have to find out. 
m 2 minus m 1 square you have to find out. So, you can find out the what variance if you got the variance the next is what standard deviation. So, standard deviation is notation is sigma. So, this you can also you find out root over of variance root over of variance clear everyone. So, in this statistical averages you have to understand how we will find out the mean, mean square value, variance and standard deviation. So, you have to solve some problem related to what mean, variance and standard deviation cases. So, all of you know the Gaussian probability density function, Gaussian probability this is very important distribution function. Okay. So, probability density function means density function means what small f of x this is 0 this is x. Suppose, the probability density function is f of x equal to 1 by anyone who can say what is the probability density function mathematically how will represent the probability density function 1 by 2 pi sigma square root over e to the power x minus a whole square by 2 sigma square yes or no. So, here this you have to put one minus e to the power minus x minus a whole square by 2 sigma square. In this case what is the sigma square? Sigma square is variance. What is the mean? A is mean. So, if you want to sketch the curve of this one the density function will be this one like this the probability density function. What is the middle value? Mean value is what? Mean value is A very good mean value is A. So, this curve represent the mean value is A the variance is sigma square of a probability density function. So, if you find out what is the mean of this function suppose one probability density function is given if you integrate what you will find out the mean will be you will get what? A. What you have to multiply mean means x into f of x integration minus into infinity the value will be what? A. If you want to find out the variance that means you have to find out m 2 m 2 equal to what? Minus into infinity a square into f of x dx you will get the variance equal to what? Sigma square. So, similarly the probability density function is given you can now solve one problem. Okay. How will find out the mean, mean square value, variance and standard deviation right. Determine the statistical averages of the exponential density function. Determine, determine the statistical averages, the statistical averages open exponential open exponential open exponential density function ok. That is given suppose f of x equal to question f of x equal to given b into e to the power minus a x b into e to the power minus x ok. So, how will solve this one or b into e to the power minus b x. So, how will find out the mean first then second is mean square value 
that is m1 you find out m2 you find out third is variance you find out variance you find out only this three you find out so first you have to sketch the wave for first you have to sketch the probability distribution of f of dx so anyone who can solve this question who can solve this question you can sketch this signal or f of x if x equal to 0 this is x axis if x equal to 0 so b into e to the power 0 what is the maximum value the maximum value is b again e to the power minus b x or a x b x so that is exponentially decreases yes or no so when e to the power minus infinity e to the power minus infinity is what e to the power minus infinity is 0 so at the minus infinity cases that value is 0 any doubt 